Hello everyone and welcome to a new story video. So, these are the groups that we have for today. Um, there's only five. Um, yes, and if I sound congested, it's because I very much am. So, yeah, we're just gonna get into it. And um, I will have chapters right here if you want to skip to a particular section. Okay, so we're starting off with Luna today. And I, okay, Choose Solo came out. It is so good. Oh my gosh. Um, my favorite song is My Palace so far. So, um, unfortunately, I don't have anything for it yet. Um, not here or on the way. Um, I really don't know when I'm going to be able to buy these cards or the albums even. Because I would like to get the album. Um, it's just free fall stuff. <laughs> um, but moving on. I did like, I feel like I mentioned this um, in the last video. But I joined like a group order for a lot of um, of the album cards for the symbol. And nothing has been updated about that yet. So it, this is just going to be empty for a long time. Um so i do have actually a lot of random kim lip cards because i did like a massive trade with someone for all of these and apparently i collect kim lip now for like her older luna cards because i have a few of her um flip that ones but i don't know okay so um, i have these two far away cards from the um a version of midnight i wonder if her other one is far away like this i don't know and then one of her B versions. And then one of her C versions. And then two out of three of her D versions. I wonder when Odd Eye Circle is going to have a comeback. I just saw that they had like a gravity for um, their fandom name. Which um, I liked all the ideas that they had. Um, or options that they had. So I don't really care what it is. Um, and then I have her three A versions for Anne. And then one of her C versions, finally, for Luna. Exciting times, um, because we're moving on to La Seraphim. And, yeah, I'm still not buying any of these cards right now. <laughs> Um, I'm just trying to trade. So, the first card I have is, um, is this the set that it, no. It's the next one. Yes. Okay, so I have this Kazuo for this set. So, this is complete now. Um, and then I have this Unche Weavers Weavers card. And I have a trade coming in for her other, um, Weavers card for this, um, Anti-Fragile. I'm only missing a few um, compact cards, I think. I have this Yinjin on the way. This Weaverse one was on the way, yes. Um, I think this Kazuha is on the way as well, so I'm just missing the Sakura. The like, hardest thing for the Seraphim to collect, I'm technically only missing one card for. That's exciting. <laughs> then I also have this um, Anche for here. So, yeah, now we're going to skip to like the very back, because I do have this Chewan and Anche unit. So... Yeah, I'm just missing the um, Sakura and Kazuha one. Um, I actually have two of this unit. Um, this one I'm going to put in my Chewan section. So if you want to trade this for um, the Sakura Kazuha one, well, let me know. So yeah, I just have a couple cards for Chewan. But they're very exciting because they'll be completing her today. So yeah. Um. Oh, no, no, no. I'm actually not. I'm sorry. Ah! So her other Weaver's card, um, the one with the lollipop, is still coming from Bai. So, <laughs> never mind. But I do have her QR code, which I was very um, thankful to trade for. I think Unchase is going to be <laughs> a real problem. I cannot find hers for less than like $18 on Mercari Japan. And she's always gone on Instagram. So, yes. And I'm just going to stick this unit here. Um, I think... Oh, I don't know if I'll get her Target card to go here, but... This space being empty does kind of bother me, so... I mean, I could put this here, but this is a Japanese card <laughs> from last era. So, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> okay, so I do have a few cards for Espa, and I did set up for some more um, OT4 sets. So, um, yes, I do have um, them complete right now because they announced a comeback, and I was like, I am not going to be working on the last comeback while they're having a new one. So, I went ahead and bought the last um, few cards that I needed. Um, I'm scared the winter's the winter's not gonna arrive to the warehouse because it's been like over two weeks at this point. So I don't know about that. But um yes, Ning needs teasers. 
came out yesterday and they are so incredibly beautiful like oh my god oh my god i suppose they just oh they have the best concepts anyways so this is another um et5 set i set up for because i did manage to get giselle's digipack card for girls i wish they were all kind of purpley like this because this like background would look um even better but yes that is complete now and then i also have giselle and karina's poster versions um these fillers aren't as cute i thought they were going to be more purple than they um actually are but they're kind of gray that's okay i really love this karina card and yes and i also did a brand oh <laughs> i'm also collecting the s minis og4 but i still have winters on the way from body so it's not technically done yet but i do have um, one of Giselle's Savage cards, which is just gonna uh, chill here on the back. So, yes. Oh, so, um, I've just had their comeback. Um, I did for a little bit move One Young into a collect book because I felt like there's like a lot in here. Um, and it is still a lot, but One Young was just too much to go into a collect book. It was just gonna outgrow it, or she was just gonna outgrow it very quickly. So, um, she's back in here now, but I didn't actually set up for the comeback. Um, because I'm just gonna take it slowly i think though i really i really love her cards for this era um i kind of want to do like a whole four pocket of like blonde blonde one young um i actually did want to buy one of her um japanese cards which will be in the next story video um i just thought it was too cute like her in the um like black outfit with the like um her hairstyle from wave like that outfit is so cute <laughs> Okay, y'all, this is probably gonna be a big talking section, so if you don't want to hear me talk about it and hype in for probably too long, then you can skip this part or mute it. Um, but anyways, we have a few cards for in hype in, which I know I said we wouldn't be back into this binder until they have a comeback, which they're having, which, um, it seems entirely too soon from, like, when their tour ends, but that's how it goes. Um, but I did set up for it. We can find that section. So, yes, yeah, just like usual. <laughs> I'm going to be doing um, Jake, Sunu, Jungwon, um, and then Sunghoon as well. But I might be keeping my pulls for this era because if I collect um, OC7, no, I didn't. Um, but there's just six cards per member for this era so far. I'm praying they don't announce a Weaver's version. But yes, we actually have a um, few merch cards today because I did get to go to their tour. And this is where this ring is from. This is the... Um, the ring that they had and obviously it is too small like i do not know ring sizes at all i just guessed and i guessed wrong so um these are the cards that came with the ring they're just two units and yes um i did um go to both new work days um which was my first time going to um new work and also new york um so that was pretty cool um but yeah these are the um t-shirt photo cards with the the black shirt that just has like the moon on it i'm wearing it right now but i don't want to show it <laughs> of course but um yeah i'm glad these were selfies though and i <laughs> i forgot that the shirt came with photo cards so i did not take care of the bag very well so i hope i hope they'll flatten out in here let me see if i face those the right way <gasps> yay i did okay so yes they <sighs> they're such incredible performers it had been like a while since i had seen like an actual and hyphen performance but oh my god <laughs> um and I know that I had been, like, going through my whole bias crisis, um, recently. Heesung, never been in my bias line before. For the, like, two and a half, like, two and a half years that I've been in Engine. But Heesung, in new work. Yes. <laughs> um, but, but I think a little bit before the concert and then, like, definitely afterwards. Um, I think Jungwon is, like, my real bias. Um, so, um, one thing that I never did for an hyphen was collect Japanese photo cards, just mainly because... Um, at first they were like really expensive during, um, Hakanai era. Um, and then I just like could not for the life of me choose a bias. So, um, I just never collected them because I could not do them for more than one member. Um, so I think I'm going to be trying to collect, um, Jungwon's, um, Japanese cards. This is going to be very slow. Um, but you did just come out. So they're pretty accessible right now. Um, yeah, we'll see how this goes. Um, <laughs> yeah. So very excited for their comeback. Um. I haven't gotten any like teasers or anything as of right now but the previews at least from the engine concept because i feel like that shows the concept the most it looks really pretty i'm glad we're getting even more um outdoorsy and hyphen cards which i feel like they kind of do kind of often right like day one um what's this arrow 
<laughs> um, dilemma and then answer. Not manifesto. And then they did it again for Dark Blood with the Weaver's cards. Wow, they're outside a lot. I just realized that. <laughs> um, anyways, that was the end of the inhabit section. Okay, so now I've reached um the big stack that is TXT. So they just had their comeback, which was like I'll get into it in a second, I guess. But um, um, I'm gonna be starting off with this binder, which is my mini photo card size binder. Um, because I wanted to go ahead and store the target cards first. I guess just because it requires less brain power. Um yes oh i forgot to say this in the um last video but i um recently saw lana del rey in concert in charlotte and i brought my mo along to the concert with me and i was scared they weren't gonna let me bring it in because last time i brought a a light stick to a non-k-pop concert they were like um that looks like a weapon to me so i couldn't bring it in but um this time the security guard was like oh that looks cool like can i keep it and of course i said no but that was quite the opposite reaction than i had expected but I um, actually met um, two Subin biased um, Moas there, so that was pretty cool. Um, yeah, I love meeting Moas in public. Um, anyways, we're on the target page now, and I do have four out of the um, five. I do have a trade coming in for the um, last member that I need, which is Taehyung's. So, yes. So, last era, I bought four target albums, and I pulled three Kai's and one Taehyung. And this era, I bought um, five albums, and I pulled two Subins, two Bongyus, one Yeonjun, and one Kai. So, or no, not Kai. Who did I, wait, two Subins, two Bongyus, and a Yeonjun. Oh my god, <laughs> I cannot count. Okay, so this is the, like, other four members page. Um, yeah. Um, and then I, <laughs> I have started to trade for, like, TXT album photo card dupes. I don't know. <laughs> I, I just want to, okay? Um, but I do have this Eternity card that I'm just gonna stick on the back of here. Let me just get it over. Yeah, <laughs> so that's how that's going. I also have a dupe of this um, crown card. So <laughs> um, now to the bongi section. So I thought I was going to be able to put um, the postcard from the gravity version on this page, but it does not fit like the past two arrows have. So um, I think they did recently release the merch for this era, and I don't think there's like a 10 case photo card again. So this is going to be empty for a while, but... Yeah, those are the only mini photo card size things I have. Oops. So now I can get into the album cards. Okay, so this is my first time storing new photo cards in this binder since when I put these in here, my collection was complete. So, um, yes. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> so, here's our stack of album cards. Um, okay, so I... I'm just going to start off with the reality page, first of all. And I only have three of these because I pulled a dupe of this Bongyu. Bongyu would not leave me alone this era. Oh my god, it, it's crazy because when I first started collecting TXT, I could not for the life of me pull him. And now it's just like crazy bias look, I guess. Um, anyway, so I do have this Yeonjun and he's going to go on the bottom because the way my brain works, I put my favorite photo cards on the bottom because they're like closer to me in a way. So yeah, I feel like I've explained that before. <laughs> um, anyways, I'm gonna put this Bongyu up here. And then this Kai is gonna go down here. I wish they all did one with the umbrella. Wait, he's not holding an umbrella. Wait. What is that? Yeah, that is an umbrella. <laughs> I don't know. And then next up we have the Melancholy version, which I pulled both of Bongyu's cards for. So yes, yeah, so we're gonna put this Yanjin down here. And then it's gonna go up here. I love how tight these sleeves are, but sometimes it's difficult. Um, yes, so this album is amazing. Um, I do agree with some people um that Back for More I think should have been the title track instead of Chase That Feeling. Um it's not like an awful choice or anything like that. I think um I just pr would prefer like a bigger title track in a way. I think if they did Chase the Feeling as the pre release, it would have been fine. But I definitely think Chase the Feeling um, or gives the vibe of the whole album more, in a way. I don't know. But for the Clarity version, I only have two. Because I only bought one Clarity version from Target. Because I had a signed Clarity version on the way. And so I didn't buy two Clarity versions from Target. And um, when I got my signed album, I pulled the exact same cards. Like, not even, like, the same members, different cards. The exact same cards. So um, that was unfortunate. But I was worried about Subin's. Um, clarity versions just because they are so stinking cute 
Um, and so I went ahead and bought those on Mercari Japan, even though I try not to buy albums right when the, or try not to buy cards right when the album comes out because I feel like they go down in price over time, but they weren't too badly priced. Um, honestly, I think Subin won the photo card games era because, like, he reached full bread potential, I think. Like, um, one of his Weavers cards, I, I need it so bad. I didn't pull it in my, um, four Weavers albums, so, yeah, I need to find that card ASAP. But next we're gonna be doing the Weavers versions, so, um, I know technically this is the B version, but it's, um, my favorite, so I'm putting it first instead. So I do have just this one Yunjun, and luckily I'm only missing three cards for both of these versions. And then I have the Subin. And then I have both of Bongyu's. So um, I did join like a group order for just like one set of Weaver's albums and I did put Bongyu as my like number one priority. And then he showed up in like um, both of my initial albums. And so now I'm just missing one of his cards. So I had to message the group order manager and be like, hey, can I change my preferences please? Cause yeah. So I also completed Taehyun. Then I just have this one Kai, which I um, got a dupe of. So if anybody wants to trade um, this Kai for any of these, or the ones that I'm missing, let me know. Or dupe bomb you, you know. I I won't be picky. <laughs> okay? <laughs> oh, this is getting heavy. Okay, so, um, wait. Oh, <laughs> Sometimes I forget I put Yanjin first because I always see Subin first on like templates and things, but I just like to keep age order. Um, but anyways, um, I do have this one Yanjin for the technically the A version, but my B version. And then this Subin. The other Subin from this version is the one that I like absolutely need. And then I just have one of Bongyu's. And both of Taehyun's. Oh no. And then both of Kai's. And um, once again, I do have a dupe of this one. So if you want to trade, cross-trade album cards, I don't really care. <laughs> I just hate trading these days because it's so hard to find stuff. And then lastly, we have the Gravity version. So um, these are my two initial pulls. Um, I, of course, pulled Bongyu. And then Taehyun. I think Taehyun is the only one that understood the assignment with this one because their backgrounds are so boring. And he's, I'm pretty sure he's, like, as of right now, the only one. That has a photo card of him in the like helmet or one of the helmets so yes um i do have the others on the way from makari japan like these cards are like dirt cheap and i know the simple problem to like there being, being fillers right here would be to put a pop set but <laughs> my brain will just like not let me do that because i have all my other ot5 pop sets in my bongu binder and if i have one in here i have to put the others in here and like blue hour ended off on an awkward number of cards and i didn't put a pop set there so it's just not gonna i don't know if it bothers me too much that these are here or if the next um era has like an odd number of cards or something like that we'll see but <laughs> that's how this is for now probably should have taken the stickers out of here <laughs> yeah. okay so this is my initial oh this page is so sad <laughs> My initial um, album pulls. So yes. And I do have a trade coming in for um, this Kai. So we'll have a little something more um, for the album cards next um, strong video. Because I don't know how much I'll be buying. I'm trying to focus on Bongi Pops. But yeah. I feel like a lot of stuff got announced like um, right when the album came out. So people aren't really getting a whole lot right now. Maybe like more so onwards. But okay guys. So first things for the Bongi Binder. I have two more dupes. <laughs> so, um, I traded for this fight card. So, we have, like, a column of, like, light shirt, tan, background, bomb cards for this era. And this card just had to be pushed to its own page. It is what it is. Um, but for um, Temptation, I have a dupe <laughs> little my card. And I don't know why I do this like this. I was gonna have to scoot over. And I have another one of these on the way. <laughs> So, um, I don't want to talk about it. Four is enough for me. Four, all of my cards is enough. It's fine. Um, but next we can go on to Freefall. And I actually have his signed postcard, which I pulled myself. Um, I, um, joined a signed trading card, or sign 
postcard trading group chat. Um, I don't know why that's so hard to say, but um, I didn't even need it because I pulled it on myself. No more novel. Um, I actually um, filmed an unboxing just in case like um, I didn't get the postcard or like something went wrong. And um, here's my reaction if you want to see that. I wasn't at home alone, so it was kind of quiet. <laughs> quiet reaction, but here it is. So he's just gonna go here on the front. Cause yeah. I've seen people like find these in like Barnes and Noble albums. Like, what is going on? And then this is the first collage I made for this era. It's not important enough for me to move the binder over. So, um, here we are. The amount of pops for this era. <laughs> We're gonna be at like four pages. It's kind of crazy. Um, but the only thing that I like have confirmed on the way is the. Um, one of the showcase cards because I bought it from a card Japan. None of my reporters have been like sorted or anything yet. Um, yes. Oh, actually, I did buy um, the UMS something and the um, one of the lucky draws. The UMS lucky draws OT5, so I'll have two more OT5 sets to put here. Um, yes. So for the um, CU, where is it? The CU. Um, Put a card. I cannot find it for under like um twenty eight dollars. Which I'm like, why? I can find everyone else for like fifteen or less. But I'm just like, why bog you? <laughs> why? Um, that I don't know. Hope hopefully it'll go down later. I have not found the broadcast like barely at all. Um, if you see someone selling like either of these for a good price, let me know. Preferably within the U S. If on Instagram or Macar Japan, whatever. Um, yeah, I did try to separate these by um concepts since we do have like previews or. Um, revealed stuff now but i'm actually going to be completing sweet today finally <laughs> um oh here it is so i did rearrange this page again but i finally have this um lucky draw round two whatever store i don't know um i don't want a group order for it should not have done that but he's here now so yeah this is how sweet is looking like actually completed for what i'm collecting yeah so for the rest of this video it's just dupes and group cards so um yeah the thing for the merch section where these go right here um yeah oh i didn't even talk about my favorite songs okay so skipping stones oh my god i am a okay first of all i'm like a pop like rock lover and i thought growing pain was gonna be my number one but skipping stones like that genre oh oh my god i need i need them to do more of that absolutely absolutely ah growing pain is number two though happily ever after as a bomb tori it's it's at the bottom technically but it's such a good song <laughs> um from the previews i thought it was gonna be my least favorite but i think um deep down is actually my least favorite it's just not my um favorite um genre so yeah wait Wait, wait, wait. Ah! Okay. I miscounted. So, I feel like there was something else that I needed to say. I don't know. Oh, yeah. I was going to buy the um, Weavers albums from this era in New York, but the prices the prices were not it. So, um, it made me appreciate the Atlanta K-pop store's prices, so I just ordered them from there. And they shipped them out the same day that I ordered them, so... Love them, but could not do the New York K-pop store prices. Why did I miscount so badly? Oh my goodness. But yeah, these are the um, group cards from the Weavers version. They had to be horizontal. <laughs> they should do this all the time. Um, yeah. And that's everything. Um, yeah. So, um, thanks for watching and bye.